Okay guys, so we're out here about to do some fishing. We got Evan and Adam. Adam's using a scythe because I guess he don't believe in a weed eater. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? I believe that's the best one yet. What do you think? And there's the pond, if you can't tell. If you're wondering, like, this looks a whole lot like yesterday's Catch and Cook. This is the same day as the Catch and Cook, except this is sort of the behind-the-scenes vlog, and we're actually doing bass fishing in this, and a whole lot of stuff that wasn't in the Catch and Cook. So this video is different than yesterday, but it is the same day. Okay, guys, well, we just completed the Catch and Cook. We got the fish in there. We're going to eat those up. But like I said, this is the vlog day, and now we're actually going to start bass fishing, and there's some really good bass in this pond. There's, like, over five pounders. But anyways, here we go. I'm going to start fishing for them. So we're actually going to hook up Adam with a wacky rigged Senko. Just a wacky hook. Oh, there he is. Oh, I spit it. You're kidding. Ooh. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's fighting. He choked it. Get on up here, buddy. Get on up here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's a pretty good one, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's probably a four-pounder right there. Oh, it's a good one. I don't know if that's the one that same one that hit me or not. It may have actually been. Pretty good fish, though. Well, as you just saw on my GoPro, I got this one on a frog right there. Big large mouth. Big, mar big large mouth. Big large one. There we go. We'll let him go and try to get us another one. This picture right here is on my Instagram. Go follow it at Kendall Gray one And everybody go like it, too. Let's try to get it to like 100K likes or something like that. I've only got like 10,000 followers. You got him? Yeah. yeah, you got him, dude. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Oh, he just broke his PB, guys. That's that's the title right there. He broke his PB. Well, it is his PB because it's his first bat. PB. He just broke his PB. How long did it take you to break your PB? Uh, five minutes, maybe. Five minutes? Toss your PB in right there. Big PB bass. Didn't even get a picture with it. Oh, it ain't going to take much to break that PB, I'm going to be honest with you. No. Is he a fish? I don't think he's a fish. He can't be a fish. Adam. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. That's a mud turtle. You just caught a mud turtle, dude. You just caught a turtle. Oh my, what, what, here's my, what, what do we do? I don't even know what to do. He said, I told you I had some. I was like, nah, dude, it ain't even kicking. Is that a snapping? Yeah, it's a big snapping turtle, dude. You wanna keep him? Yeah, we wanna keep him, but do we have like a bucket? Let's go find a bucket, yeah. Just hold him right there, Adam. Yeah, if he comes attack now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so Adam caught that turtle and we ran up there to get a bucket. As soon as we get a bucket, we'll hear him yell. It came off. Right, there's my personal best. That's your personal best turtle, ain't it? Yeah. You can technically say you caught him. You had him right there flopping for I wouldn't get him up out of the water either. <laughs> but anyways, back to bass fishing now, ain't it? Evan's got one now over there. A good one. Oh man, that's a that one's bigger than mine. Yeah, that one's better than mine for sure. Oh man, that's a giant. That is a giant right there. That's a pig on the Senko. Oh, boys. Is that your PB? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> got him out there for us. He hooked his head. You got a good one? Nah. He's a little one. Kiss it. <laughs> Not today. Got him. Not as big as the first one, but he is still a fish. Decent. Okay, guys, well, I'm actually making a change. I'm taking off the frog, and I'm actually going to put on just a straight, well, eightless Cinco. And I'm about to catch it. Uh-oh. Mmm, he had it, too. I was on my phone and felt him bite. Then I had to put my phone all the way in my pocket, and he held on to it the entire time. Oh my gosh. Yep. No, he ain't too big. He's a good one though. He's all right. I threw it up on the bank as soon as it hit the water. He came and destroyed it. He was aggressive. Wow, he's actually the smallest one today, but he was the meanest. Guys, I don't know how, but he just hooked that same turtle. Or is it the same one? I don't know. I don't know, but. There he is. Adam went to go get the bucket. Hopefully we can get this one in. Both on Cinco's, that's the weird part. I'm gonna get a video just so we can, so we got it.
to get ready because I'm bringing him in the bucket. I'm just going to bring him up. So be careful. I'm bringing him up. If his skin breaks right there, he's pretty strong. Oh my god. Kind of bad right there. Hurry, go get a thing. Go get a thing. Go get a thing. Oh, oh. I'm scared of it. <laughs> Here, I'll go try and pick ah. it up. Right and that big old turtle! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hurry! Hurry! Just go. Don't do that! He can walk out! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Here, zoom this out. Get it on video. Okay, update on the turtle. Yeah, we got him. We got him in a bucket, but that's about as far as we've got him so far. Don't get too close at him. All right. And don't let him walk out, because that's exactly where he wants to go, is out of there. I ended up hooking him with my 30-pound line. That way we could hoist him out of the water. You barely got a hold of him. Yeah, I barely even got him in that bucket. He's a monster, too. But we're going to try to find a bucket or some kind of bag to put over him to get him home. There you go, boys. That's why you watch the vlogs. You didn't see this in the kitchen cook, did you? Right now, we're looking for some string or wire or a big bag or something just to tie those buckets together. That way, he don't, you know, jump out in the back of the Grand Dam because that's not what we want at all. But we've caught like five bass today, two turtles, and we've actually got one turtle in a bucket, and that's where we need it to be. Okay, guys, we're heading back now. We gave Evan the honor of carrying back the turtle in three buckets. He's probably got 20 pounds turtle we caught what like nine ten fish three yeah we had three pbs he broke his pb he broke his pb he broke his pb turtle too so there's three pbs broken today and he broke his pb turtle too because we caught two four pbs broken two turtles two bass now we gotta figure out how to transport the turtle in the grand dam and now for the turtle how do we do it is the trunk big enough nope <laughs> Evan, nope looks like you're carrying it sounds all right let's see here fits like a dream there we go. We'll be good. All right, brother. Don't let it loose. If it loose, I'll take a side to it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We're on the move. That's some dry rock bucket, though. Yeah, and he's right under there. Goodness, he is a good dummy. The hook's still in him, but I ain't about to get it out. It's on the side of his neck. Yeah. We, we've hooked him, and it came loose, so we had to put that hook on him to get him in. We had him on 10-pound line, and then I hooked him with 30 just to make sure I could get him up. How do you change the water? Yeah. Right there. yeah, there's the two turtles. He'll be the biggest one, too. Think so? Yeah, he will. That right there, I don't know about that turtle right there. That's the one Caleb gave me yeah, from Walmart. I, swear, I believe he caught that in a cereal thing, buddy, or something. Is he big enough to eat? Yeah. Yeah, he's plenty big enough. <laughs> it's a monster. That is a big one, ain't it? Compared to that one. Yeah, that one's a teeny wee. That's a big one. He's mean, too. Here's your catch. I ain't touching it. <laughs> Always cut. when you get them out. Yeah. You gonna catch them and get that something like that right there. And get, that, get their head. Mm-hmm. Is he bigger? Yeah, he's bigger. He ain't much bigger, but he's bigger. Yeah. Okay, guys, well, me and Adam actually picked up the mail today, and we had this letter. It's greasy all over the bottom of it. Don't show his address, but it's cut from Jaron. Jones. Now he's been feeling around in it and he's like super curious about what's in it. So we'll just go ahead and open it in the vlog. Go ahead and open it, Adam. We'll give you the honors today. Make a guess. What do you reckon's in it? Dog treats. That's what he thinks. Dog treats. And I'm going to say at least a few plastics. Well, because it's so greasy right there on the pack. And remember, guys, if you want to send me some, my P.O. box is always in the description of every video. It smells like a plastic. So, all right. Let's open her up. Dump it out. See what we got. Plastic. Boom. 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 Oh, not dog tricks. He said he broke one, but yeah, hey, that's just fun dip. You broke a fun dip stick. Okay, so let me tell you what's going on. So you know that turtle video not too long ago, but like fairly long ago, where I caught that turtle on the river and I said, if I can get two stinking thousand likes, we'll do a giveaway. Well, I actually think a lot of you, you know, like a lot of you guys, you may have took it the wrong way. I think a lot of y'all thought that since you got 2,000 likes, I was doing a giveaway right then from the people who liked but it. But what that does is that 100% confirms we're doing a 100,000 subscriber giveaway. Now this giveaway, guys, it's going to be stinking massive. It's going to take a little while. It's going to take some time to organize. I'm actually getting a lot of products from, well, I've never used this word on my channel like at all, but my sponsors, I sort of have sponsors, sort of not, but my sponsors are giving me stuff to give away to you. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have a lot of stuff. 
stuff and we're gonna have a lot of winners. It's gonna be awesome for everybody. But it ain't happening until I reach 100k. So go get your mom, get your dad, get your dad's dad. Tell them to subscribe because we gotta get to 100,000. And we need to do this fast can so y'all can win as fast as we can. Now that last turtle video got 10,000 likes guys. In this stinking video we stick a caught two turtles and wrangled one in the back of a grand dam. If a video where we simply catch a turtle gets 10,000, this one should be able to get 4,000 like it's nobody's business. Okay, 5,000, forget four, we're going 5,000. Hit the like button. The video's not over, I promise guys, the video's not over. But hit the like button, we gotta get 5,000 on this 5K, 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 5K. Let's do it guys, I know you can. Because the Grey Gang is unstoppable. Well, I finally finished my speech. But anyways, we're about to actually uh, fly a drone right now guys. Uh, I don't know much about this right here, but hey. Here's our drone, and we're about to fly. Now, this is the Eichen E52 TX Pocket Drone. You know, I don't know much about it, but hey, we're about to fly it up in there, and we may even get, a, get some good footage out of it. We'll see, though. But you know what? First thing, we probably need to get it out of the box, don't we? Let's see what we can do here. Okay, well, I sort of got it out of the box here. I believe it's actually one thing you have to, well, you know, hook your phone up to to see what's happening. Okay, guys, so I went inside, watched a quick video, and, uh, well, yeah, I think I might know how to fly it a little bit. I think the first thing you do is, you know, turn that on, then you... Turn this on. Sounds like a bomb. But anyways, you know, it's got a camera in it. It's got a little bit of camera right there. I don't know how good it'll do, but hey, I guess you're just about to see how good it is right now. Yeah, there it is. Oh! Oh, dang. Oh, dang it. It done crash, dude. It done crash. So, like, is it done for, or did I break any propellers, or what? I mean, it's still good. We're gonna do it again, why not, yeah? This time it's right there instead of over there beside the door. Let's see what happens this time. Okay, well it is now out of... Oh! 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 Oh, that was mean right there. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I crashed it again. I'm actually gonna have to go out there in the sun, guys. I was trying to get in the shade, but hey. Looks like I'm going out in the sun, so I can actually try to fly this thing. Probably going to put it about right there, and, uh... Okay, it's there. Let's take it off. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I almost hit you guys! Did you just see that? Oh! Okay, guys, so I'm not even going to try to lie to you. I just think and crash this thing full speed into a wall three times, and it's still going. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description, because this is thinking crazy. Okay, so if you don't really know what's happening right now, this drone does have audio. Therefore, I'm doing a voiceover just in case. So at this point, I'm probably saying something like, hey, everybody, watch this drone fly over my head really fast. And then at this point, I'm basically just trying to be really nosy and look in and see what Lucky's up to. And, well, yeah, then I'll run into her cage and basically crash it. And then this part... Yeah, this is all I got of the crash. Okay, guys, well, I sort of flew it around the building, and, you know, that lost connection. There right there is all I'm seeing on the screen, and somehow I got to find it through that. I don't have a clue where it is. Probably somewhere over this hill, not going to lie. Whoa, that, that may be in a tree. Wait, what? So I, like, sort of panicked and just started pressing every button on this controller, and now it's just beeping like this. Like, I don't know, is it just chilling here, or is, like... Is it trying to do some kind of GPS thing to where I eventually get closer to it? I don't know. I'm still seeing the thing right there, which means, it, well, it's not moved. But from this picture, I'm pretty well decided it's somewhere on the ground. And, well, I, I really don't know. That's about it. So I may not be getting this drone back. Two hours later. <laughs> Okay, so like for the last straight up two hours, you can tell by the sweat on my face. I've been down over that hill looking everywhere. And can you guess where it is? Yep, uh-huh. It's like a foot out of my yard. Like, like, no. Like, what is up with that? Okay, here it is. I honestly think it died because I lost connection with it. We'll see right here, though. No, it's still on, baby. Let's fly this again, except, you know what, let's go in the field. So like, this may not be the best way to launch a drone, but hey. Why not? Uh-oh. It's getting out of here fast. Boom! 
crashed it. Okay guys, I'm bringing you back into my cinder block basement yet again, and I gotta tell you something. Okay, so you know the whole notification squad thing. It's great. It's a good little challenge for y'all, and it gives you a chance to get shouted out on the channel. But I don't like it. I mean, I love the idea, I just don't like notification squad. We're about to change it. So I'm not trying to change much, but here's what I am going to change. Instead of putting hashtag notification squad and then your name, you're actually going to put your favorite part about the video. Now, you don't have to put your name. I'll just shout out, you know, your your header thing. This way, you'll still have a chance to get shouted out, and I'll know what I can do better on. And it's really hard for me to go through and answer comments to say thanks and thanks, bro, to hashtag notification squad. This way, you'll still get a chance to get shouted out on my channel, but you also get the chance of me coming through and replying to your comment. Because once you tell me what your favorite part, is I can reply and say like ha ha and like something you know something like that yeah and you know how I've had those outros on my last two videos that says and notification squad posted up on the right well you know what hey I'm changing it it's gonna say favorite squad posted up on the right because here's what you're gonna do you're basically commenting your favorite part of the video and then I'm gonna pick two of them and post them up on the right just right there where, where the notification squad used to be and as for who gets picked for a favorite squad it's still gonna be some of the people who get there the earliest I'm still gonna take some of the earliest ones so still get here early bright and early just like your notification squad so let me go over it one more time instead of notification squad you do the same exact thing except you're called the favorite squad and you comment your favorite part of the video and don't get triggered if the comments don't necessarily make sense from yesterday's video because what I'm doing is I'm actually about a week ahead of schedule so the favorite squad comments is actually going to be from about a week ago's video but still it's going to be awesome guys so if you want to be entered go ahead and type in your favorite part about the video and boom you're in nothing special just tell me your favorite part and you're automatically in so it's that easy and don't forget to hit the like button guys roll the outro if you're not already go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button in the middle if you already subscribed, feel free to watch more videos on the left, and as always, favorite squad, post it up on the right. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button, and besides that, hey, I'll see you later.